Got one more for the board here. It is a real joy to be the pastor of the Bonnie Lake Church because we love people and we love watching God transform their lives. Yes, we do. We there do. you are. There we yeah. are up there. There's Josiah, Vic and Ruth. Ruth. So many new people that have come in too. As a result of the Bonnie Lake Church partnering with Washington Conference and their Partners for Ministry initiative, they have seen an increase in the hospitality of the church. They have seen a 50% increase in attendance and 30 new members have been added to the church in the last two years. Over the course of our career as evangelists, we've held three meetings in the Bonnie Lake Adventist Church. And this last time, I've noticed something really different. The people were much, much more friendly. This year, greeters have decided to be very intentional on greeting our visitors. So we're handing each one of them one of these cool bags. And one of the best things is, when they've got this bag, we know who the visitors are. My first church meeting, we were invited to lunch at somebody's house. Grace came to the meetings opening night. I finally was able to get my mother to come and then my nephew. And after three nights of the meetings, they told us, we like this church. We want to be members here. We have never seen a church as friendly as this church. And after everything we heard and listened to, we actually all four were baptized on the exact same night, the second to last night of Revelation now. It was the friendship and the love of the people that made her want to be a part of that congregation. If it had been an unfriendly place, we would not have come back. I remember meeting Felicia and Greg Maxwell. Felicia and Gregory's truck broke down. This thing's been running for 10 minutes. Oh, I can't believe it. I gotta take this down to my neighbor Bill and see if he can fix the defroster. Felicia took it across the street to her neighbor. I'm Bill. I'm a retired mechanic and I, I work on cars when I want to now. And Bill fixed the truck. When she came to pick it up, How are you guys? Good. We got it all done. Thank you. Oh. Ready for winter. What are you doing tonight? Nothing. Have you seen this? Yes, we got one in our mailbox. He showed her a copy of the handbill. Oh, that's your church? Why don't you and your husband come on down? Is that at the Bonnie Lake Church? Yes. It's over at the Adventist Church. We went last year to the free community dinner. Oh, I didn't know that was your church. He invited them to come to Revelation Now. They attended opening night. They attended every single night. Made a decision to be baptized, to become a part of the church family. But Felicia had a problem. She had to work on Sabbath. And she didn't think that she would be able to get Sabbath off. So we prayed with her. I went into work and mentioned to my boss and the office manager that I started going to seven Day Adventist Church and I'd really like to get Saturdays off and I thought maybe there'd be an issue but they both said okay and so I switched working my five hours to Sunday. When she came back to the meeting she said they gave me Sabbath off and Felicia and Greg were baptized at the end of the series. All of this because an Adventist mechanic was willing to share his faith. Hi. Here at Bonnie Lake we're more intentional now about loving people the way that God would and this is how we're living God's mission. 